Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your domain to your web hosting service. We do recommend setting up your name servers through Cloudflare. And we have a video on this, which I'll leave in the iCard in the top right right now. So if we go to a website at the moment, currently a website is like this. And this is because we haven't actually connected our domain to our web hosting service. So let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, we're going to go to Cloudflare. We're then gonna click on the domain we're gonna use. Once we're here, we're then gonna go to DNS on the left. Okay, so first of all, we need to create some DNS records. So go to the DNS management box and click add record. Now the first three records that we're gonna make are all A records. Now a quick explanation of an A record is that it maps domains to IPv4 addresses. So first of all, for the name, we're gonna actually put in your domain. So for me, that's strangestan.xyz. And then for the IPv4 address, we're going to want to put in 51.89.244.99. And you're actually going to want to copy this for later. Set proxy status to proxy and TTL to auto. Then click save. And that's our first record. Now we need to make another one. Once again, A. For the name, we're going to put www. And for the IPv4 address, we're going to put the same one that we just put. Proxy status still at proxy and TTL at auto. Once again, click save. And now we have one more. And for the name, we're going to put FTP. And then once again, for the IPv4 address, we're going to put the same IP. However, for this one, we're going to change the proxy status to DNS only. Keep the TTL at auto and then click save. And that is our first three records complete. So if you just go to a website, mine being strangestand.xyz, as you can see, the website does work. This website is called Nameless MC, and there's a guide on how you can set it up for yourself. So I'll leave that in the description. But anyway, we're not quite done yet, as we still need to add some mail records. So click add record. This first mode record is still going to be an A type record, but for the name, we're simply going to put mail. And then for the IPv4 address, we're going to put the same one once again. And actually for this, we're going to change the proxy status to DNS only as well. Keep the TTL auto and save. And then the final one for the mail, if we add in record, we're going to change the A type to MX. So you can simply type in MX, select it, and then there we go. So now for the name, you're going to put in your domain. So mine being strangestand.xyz. And then for the mail server, you're going to put mail dot and then your domain. So there we go, mail.strangestand.xyz. Keep TTL auto and set the priority to 10. And now we can click save. So these are all of the required records. There are two other records, one being a cPanel record and one being a webmail record. And these are completely optional. However, they will add some extra functionality. All right, so now we're getting into the optional records. So click add record. For the name, put cPanel. And for the IPv4 address, put the same one we put earlier. And then make sure the proxy status is on proxied. Keep TTL at auto and click save. And now finally, make a new record, make it an A record, put the name to webmail and the IPv4 address to the IP we copied earlier. Once again, keep proxy status to proxied and TTL to auto and go ahead and save it. And now you're pretty much done. Now what this cPanel record actually does is if we type in cPanel dot and then your domain, so mine being strange stand or XYZ, it actually takes us right to our cPanel where we can go ahead and just log in. So simply just cPanel dot your domain and it'll take you right to your cPanel. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.